everybody welcome welcome back to my channel this is a cuckoo kitchen the home of cuckoo recipes with your one and only carol and today guys we have a very interesting video new recipe that we've not tried out and we are cooking from back to perfection this one we have to try and see if it's going to be back to perfection because this particular recipe is boasting eh? it's boasting that you will have the best domed Da -da -da -da. I won't tell you what it is and it will be very nicely caramelized on top and also it says that this particular recipe will have a moist tender crumble guys that's what the book says I hope everything will turn out nicely and as the book says because we know some of some of these recipes what we see on the book and on the ground there are two different things but that's the reason why we are here to try out these recipes and see how they will turn out so what are we making today we are going to make blueberry muffins that's the recipe for today that's what we are making and of course if you know if the recipe is from back to perfection there's a photo let's give flowers where flowers are due this book the author of this book has made sure that all the recipes you're not guessing how is it going to turn out have i done the correct thing no no guesswork you already see the photo so you know you already anticipate the end result of what you're cooking so kudos to the author of this book she has done a good job eh making having photos of all these recipes this is not this is not this is not a small thing guys so far i don't think i've seen a recipe that doesn't have a photo i've not cooked all the recipes but the ones that we've cooked so far you know i always show you a photo so here is it the blueberry muffins look at them and kama kawaida they'll be gluten free because the book is gluten free recipes so that's what i was saying the recipe says that this muffins will be beautifully domed caramelized on top with will have a lot of blueberries i don't like fruits in my cupcakes or in my cakes so i'll go slow with the blueberries i'm not a fan of um, things like blueberries raising and dates eating them in cakes or cupcakes that's not my thing that's not my thing so i'll not put a lot just a little bit eh? and then it says it will have a moist tender crumble the book says that the gluten-free bl blueberry muffins that you will find in this recipe this one ticks all those boxes we are here we are going to be the judges so that's it i'll talk to you tomorrow so that's it for today no not for today why am i sending you away no it's not that it for today so that's it no not that's it so guys let's see what we are working with of course i have to show you the the ingredients before we start cooking so karibu and welcome to today's recipe so we have a couple of things this is some almond flour i have some gluten-free flour blend I'm using monk food sweetener. The book uses light brown soft sugar. On this plate, I have xanthan gum, I have baking powder, I have baking soda and salt. I have some lemon zest, I have some butter, I have some milk and the milk should be cold. The book is very specific. I have some yogurt. This is plain yogurt. You can also use Greek yogurt. I have some eggs. They are also cold. What is remaining? Some lemon juice, as you can see. And uh, what, 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 what? Vanilla bean paste. Then the last thing will be the frozen blueberries. I think we can begin. The last thing is some, granula hey. some granulated sugar for sprinkling. Of course, we shall do that when we get to that point. So the first thing we're going to do is sift our flour and start with the almond flour. Then I go to my gluten-free flour blend. So the next thing we're going to add is a baking soda, baking powder, the salt, xanthan gum. 
and our sweetener. So we are going to mix this one first because the next thing we are going to add is a lemon zest and the butter. Then we are going to, to mix the butter and the dry ingredients until you get a bread crust resemblance. Okay. Lemon zest. And then we go in. I think this is okay. We're going to go to the wet ingredients, then we're going to mix them together. Together, together, then we shall put our mixture into our muffin tin. Stay aside a bit. We are going to whisk together the milk. This is the cold milk, the yogurt, the eggs, lemon juice, then the vanilla bean paste. Use a spoon to get it out. So we're going to mix the wet and the dry. says that you need to make sure that you have a smooth thick butter this is my mixture guys looks so nice so the next part is the blueberries guys 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 not the blueberries wow this is a process eh? next part is not the blueberries let me show you what we are going to do what we are going to do let me wipe this table now this is our muffin tin we are going to put around one tablespoon, that is what the book says, one tablespoon of the mixture into our cupcake liners. Then after that, now that's when you're going to mix the remaining butter with the blueberries. So let me put first, then we we'll see how it's going to turn out. Now I'm going to sprinkle some monk fruit sweetener on top, then we will bake them for 20 to 22 minutes because I'm using frozen blueberries, but if you're using fresh, the baking time will be different, so 
check that out in the book don't forget guys this is what we want this is the outcome we are looking for so let's hope for the best guys our blueberries are done and they are out they have cooled hey, let me show you let me show you and we we will mark for ourselves we see if it ticks there the boxes we shall we are here to do that let me show you Lemon is lemon. Hey, there's something like that. The lemon zest is just wow. That's the first thing I've noticed. Actually, the blueberry is not, not a lot of fun. Eh? Mm, 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 mm. Guys, 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 guys. Wow. Let's check. Let's check the boxes that we need to tick. One that I will tick first. Beautifully don't. Tick, 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 tick. The point, the, the fear I had with when I was filling the cupcake liners that they will, that have filled too much. That's, that, that's not a problem because you can see you need them. You need to fill them to the brim just like the book says for them to dome nicely. So that's a tick. Caramelize on top. They are not as much as the book. They don't look smooth. Let's be honest. But they look nice. Number which one? Blueberries I've put. I didn't put a lot. But where are my blueberries looking like this? Hey, hey, hey. Look at my blueberry, blueberries. Look at this. They look malnutrition. They look shocked. They look electrocuted. But the ones on the book, they look cute and nice. Ay, my blueberries. What happened? And um, they, they have, they are moist inside. Really nicely moist. Eh, and a tender crumble. Guys, 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 guys. Our blueberry muffins have been back to perfection. They have been back to perfection. If you don't have this book, guys, if you don't have this book, I don't know what you're waiting for. Get this book, try out this particular recipe and let me know in the comment section how they how yours turned out and how what you think about this particular book. This book just really nice recipes. And the book says that it is a pinch of science. There's no pinch of science. The moment you start making things like um bread where you're using what is it called? Xantam cup. The, that's a whole this book is teaching you. A whole science of baking but these ones they turned out really nice so bye bye see you in the next one as we see which book we are going to cook from or bake or talk about let me know what else can we do with these cookbooks bye bye and god bless